Welcome back to Leading Medicine. A moment ago, you met three cancer survivors whose early detection of breast cancer was a key to their survival. Carolyn found her cancer by breast self-exam. Anne and Debbie's were detected by a routine mammogram. However, mammography can have its limitations, especially for a certain group of women. Dr. Luz Venta is the director of breast imaging at the Methodist Breast Center. For women that have dense breast tissue, that have implants, that have a high risk for breast cancer, we can offer breast MRI, which is a new high-tech way of really looking through the dense tissue, looking through the implant and behind the implant, and making sure that there's not a mass growing that would be suspicious for malignancy. Debbie Rutledge is a cancer survivor. For years after she completed her cancer treatment, she wore prosthesis until she was physically and emotionally ready for reconstructive surgery. The prosthesis that you wear uh, is heavy and hot, especially here in Houston. It's still a constant reminder that you are recovering from cancer. It, so it's, it makes it difficult to become yourself again. Dr. Aldana Spiegel plays a vital role in helping women recover. She's the director of the Center for Breast Restoration at the Methodist Hospital. It's very important for women to have choices in breast reconstruction, to be able to sort of put themselves back together. That's really our ultimate goal, and to have their um, personality, their confidence back. Um, and it, it, you know, cancer does rob you of that for a while. My surgery that Dr. Spiegel performed um, is a little unique. It's microsurgery and she takes the fat from your abdomen and reconstructs your breasts. Microsurgery basically allows us to look at a, a woman's body and kind of determine where we have some excess tissue to use to rebuild the breast. And so um, in some women it's in the abdomen, we can use the buttocks, we can use the inner thighs, we can use uh, other areas in the body that allow us to get a sort of a B cup breast. Because it is a difficult process to go through, especially after the initial diagnosis, the patients have a lot of choices as to breast reconstruction. And I think that it's very important to tailor that to the patient. That's why we pride ourselves on being able to offer all the reconstructive options. People who know me, uh, when they saw me a couple of months or so after the surgery, they go, you know, like, wow, what a difference. It changes your life in the way that you feel like yourself again. Methodist Hospital offers a unique way in which breast cancer and other cancers will be treated. Your treatment will be individualized according to your type of cancer, and you will have a team, a multidisciplinary team of top specialists, surgeons, oncologists, radiologists, radiation oncologists, geneticists, skilled nursing, infusion services, investigational pharmacy. All these services will be assembled under one roof to care for an individual patient. Coming up, learn more about the simple and affordable screenings offered throughout the Methodist hospital system that can warn you about a deadly disease that is often overlooked in women. These screenings could possibly save your life and may be covered by your insurance. You'll learn about a free women's health event with screenings and other helpful information, all in a fun environment at Reliance Stadium. We'll be back with more Leading Medicine in just a moment. So I walk into the hospital and, and I tell them something's very, very wrong. I don't know what's wrong, but I just had open heart surgery a month ago and, and I hurt right now. I really, really, really hurt. You know, the pain was on a scale of one to 10. Forget 10, we're talking 100. I would have periods of great fatigue, just feeling like I could not drag my legs. I felt like they weighed 800 pounds a piece.